Assalamu alaikum everyone hope you are having a wonderful life today we will talk about oet subtests let's have a brief overview of each of these subtests separately there are four subtests writing reading listening and speaking let us start with the writing you will be given 45 minutes for writing 5 minutes for reading your case notes and 40 minutes for writing your task let's have a look on the case notes you will see complete history of the patient including his personal history family history his past medical history his past admissions his recent visits to the hospital and at the end of the case notes you will see the task and that task will tell you how to rearrange the information and uh, expand the case notes to make a letter like this is a discharge letter to the patient's own gp but remember letter can also be a referral a discharge a request for admission or it can be an emergency letter and each letter has its own writing pattern now let's discuss reading it has three parts a b and c a part must be completed in 15 minutes after which your answer sheet will be collected for b and c part you will be given 45 minutes but keep in mind you have to complete both the parts in 45 minutes Reading part A has four short texts on a single topic and these texts will be marked as A B C and D. You will answer 20 questions and these questions are divided into three parts. This part is just like the comprehension that we used to do in our childhood. So this is part A which has four texts containing information on managing diabetic foot ulcers and answer to all the 20 questions are in these texts. In one to six, you will be asked a question, and you have to answer by mentioning the text in which you have read about this. And these questions will be answered as A, B, C, or D. Whereas in question seven to fourteen and fourteen to twenty, you will be asked a question, and your answer will be a word or a short phrase. Do not use full sentences. You have to complete these twenty questions in fifteen minutes. After which, your question paper will be collected. After that your countdown for part B and C will be started. You have to complete both the parts in 45 minutes. Part B has six short word plays texts. Each text has its own question. Here you can see the text under the question on NG feeding tube and your answer will be in this text. The other five questions of part B will have the same pattern. Now proceeding to part C which has two long texts Each text contains 7 to 8 paragraphs and after each text you will have 8 MCQs questions to solve. The good thing about this part is that most of the questions direct you which paragraph you need to read in order to answer the question. Here is text 1 which has 8 paragraphs on the topic sleep deprivation. And after the text you will see 8 questions. And after solving questions you will proceed to text 2. Here in question 14 you can clearly see you need to read final paragraph to answer the question OET listening subtest like reading listening also has three parts a b and c you will get 40 minutes for 42 questions you will get time to read the question before you hear the extract complete your answers as you hear there will be no time after the audio ends remember you hear the audio once only There will be 2 minutes at the end of the test to recheck your answers. Part A has two extracts. Each extract is a healthcare consultation and each extract has 12 questions so there are total 24 questions. You will fill in the blank spaces. Before the audio begins you will get 30 seconds to read the case notes. Once it begins you have to read and write at the same time. You hear the audio once only. So try not to lose focus as you do not get the second chance. Let's have a look on case notes. In extract 1, you hear a rheumatologist talking to a patient who suffers from gout. You will fill the gap with the word or short phrase and that word or short phrase should be exactly what you are listening in the audio. You cannot use your own words. After 30 seconds of reading the case notes, audio will begin which will take 5 minutes. You will read, write and listen at the same time. Remember you do not get the second chance to listen to the extract. After completing your extract 1, you will proceed to extract 2 which is just like the first one. Listening part B. It has 6 questions with 6 recorded extracts. 1 minute for each one. 
The extract can be on different topics such as patient issues, patient handovers, team briefings, workplace changes, etc. You will get 15 seconds to read the question before the audio begins. Let's have a look on part B, question 25. You hear an optometrist talking to a patient who is trying contact lenses for the first time. After that, you will get 15 seconds to read the question and the options. And you have to answer as you listen. Listening part C. It has two extracts on general healthcare topics. Each extract has six questions. The extract can be a presentation or an interview. You will get 90 seconds to read the question before the extract starts. After reading the question from 31 to 36 in 90 seconds, you will hear the audio and you have to answer as you listen. After completing your extract 1, you will proceed to extract 2 which will be completed in the same manner. Here you can see the questions from extract 2 and after you complete your part C, you will get 2 minutes to check your answers. OED Subtest Speaking Speaking requires you to role play two different situations with an interlocutor who is your conversational partner. He is not the examiner. Your conversation will be recorded and sent to the OET official. In simple words, you will be given a situation in which you will always be a doctor and interlocutor can be a patient or patient's relative. The topic will be a patient's medical issue which will be related to your profession. You will have 3 minutes to read the card before the conversation starts. In this time, you can also write on the card or underline the important points. After 3 minutes, your countdown of 5 minutes will start in which you will have conversation with the interlocutor. Now this is the role play card. Both of you will get your own cards. Your card has 3 parts. The first part is the setting. The setting can be a GP clinic, ER, ICU or any other place. The second part is the patient's background or the issue for which he is here to visit you. And the third part is the task. And these tasks will guide you which questions to ask about the patient history, how to reassure him and what points to tell to the patient about the treatment. And this is the card which your patient have. Thank you for watching this video. For queries, please do comment. Hope you guys like my video. Please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Allah Hafiz.